Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to have a look at the 1794 TB3 wiring base. Now these are a pretty standard item. Everybody uses either the 3, the 2, the N, whichever wiring base it is, you have to have a wiring base for a module. Now recently I've been getting bases in from various sources around the world that are broken. And where they're broken, and it's hard to see here, but it's right here. These two clips are busted off from someone who doesn't know what they're doing, trying to open up the base and figure out what's inside. Well, I'm going to show you what's inside, how to properly take it apart, how to properly put it back together. The only reason you should have to take it apart is if it's filthy and dirty and it's got damn, you know, you want to make sure that there's no contaminants on the inside of the base. Otherwise, if we look at this base here, which I took apart earlier, there's nothing there to, to play with. You, this is put together at the factory, and it's soldered to here by, at the factory. You've got resistor capacitors on the bottom. This is your slide that fit that hooks into the, your next base there and you've got your covers there's the one with the uh, key on it and there's the, there's the bottom piece that goes underneath so it's a pretty simple system and there's no reason to pull it apart there's no reason to play with it so we'll get swung around here so that you can see on the workbench what I'm doing and we'll be right back Thanks a lot. Okay, we're back. Uh, we'll start out with a close-up here. So here's the wiring base. It's a TB3. We turn it over this way. You can read. There it is, TB3. And this piece here is it's all ma manufactured by Phoenix. So here's your wiring base. On the bottom is resistors and capacitors and you can see across here this is this is wave soldered so there's nothing you can take apart here there's nothing on the inside that you can access and here's your back end there's your little connector that goes onto a bus here and again this is all wave soldered there's your your uh, pins your header there and you can see here on this one, really hard to see, you see the one pin is short there. So what's happened is this, it's hard to, hard to do this in, at the same time, has got pushed in. Just a matter of straightening it out like that get back there there we go and you can see now all the pins are pretty well square nothing else you can do there here is the base that goes on the bottom there's your locking mechanism there's your grounding plate this is your third piece which is where your switch is and this only rotates in the one direction and this will match up with if you look on every module you'll see on this side a number in this particular case this is off an IE8 and it shows a 3 that means this keying switch needs to be there to show three so that's all pretty simple okay so we will go like that and move this around here okay so we start out we put our base onto the bottom put that back and you can see here 
these clip into these two holes. That's how this is held on the, onto the base. Now, hopefully, you could hear that click. You see at the front here. And you see how this right here clips up at the same time. And then that clips down. You can ho hopefully you heard that. There's our ribbon cable connector. Now, if you look really, really close here, and that's hard to see, but on this one here, this is where I go like that. Hopefully it can focus. There it is. You see how that's broken off. That's because when it came apart, this plastic, back out a bit, was brittle. So when you put this piece back on, which is our key, which goes over top here, you have to pull that back at the same time. This all clips together. Now this isn't gonna this is gonna clip on this side but not on this side. So what you have oops, this is gonna clip on this side but not on this side because this is broken. So what you have to do, and again carefully, is open this up. This one again. Now it's hard to hard to see, but hopefully you have to kind of lift, pull at the same time. Get that off of there. To get this to stay secure, you're going to have to put a drop of gel super glue on this to keep this down. So that it doesn't come apart, so that when it's used by you, a customer, or me, it's ready to use. So again, we take our super glue, which uh, for me, I'm using Gorilla just because it's a good product. This is in no way a uh, an ad for Gorilla, but it does work. So we can see right there on this end where it's broken. Put a dab of gel glue there and a dab there. And that's all you need. So now when we put this back together. And again, clip, 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 and it can be a pain to get it to, to snap together sometimes. For whatever reason, on occasion, A little bit of force but not much. Now this is sticking out just a bit and that's because of the age of the base and there it is. Now once that glue cures back over here, once that glue cures that base is never coming apart. It's ready to use. This has all been cleaned. This moves properly. Now on this side here you can see this little corner which if we look at one of these other bases same thing that little hook is broken off that little hook is just is really more of a cosmetic thing for putting one base into the other base and if you take and look here at the bottom all it does is sit there it's kind of an, an aligning thing when you're building it, but otherwise it doesn't make a lot of difference. 
when you secure the bases down you either put screws through here or you're on a din rail and you put stoppers on either end so there we go there's a really quick explanation of how to put these back together and why it's not worthwhile to take them apart now I said I was going to take one of these apart but I don't want to break anything more on them and like I say right here is where these things break and that's normally because someone has opened them up trying to figure out what's in there or they think they have to pop those off to get the module out which again is wrong so there we go um, next video is again with 1794 uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, IR8 temperature module back on the next video thanks a lot subscribe if you'd like